Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Very warm welcome to Mass on this second Sunday of Advent. And seeing as it's the second Sunday of Advent, it's time to light our second Advent candle. Can I have any volunteers, please? God our Father, you spoke to the prophets of old, a Saviour who would bring peace. You helped them to spread the joyful message. Of his coming kingdom, help us as we prepare to celebrate his birth, to share with those around us the good news of your power and love. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light who is coming into the world. Amen. Don't blow that. Well, done. when the Lord comes, He will bring to light things now hidden in darkness, and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us confess our sins. Turn to us again, O God our Saviour, and let your anger cease from us. in the river Jordan, confessing their sin. The 
when he saw many Pharisees and Sadducees come in for baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruit worthy of repentance. Do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham for our ancestors. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now, the axe is lying at the root of the tree. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance, but one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to carry his son. He will baptise you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear the threshing floor and will gather his wheat into the ground. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. This is the Gospel of the Lord. God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Can anyone tell me if there's anything particularly important, special, exciting happening this evening? Obviously, apart from the prayer and that past sense. Anything which is going to be on television which is happening this evening? Go on. Sorry, I didn't understand. What was the word? He can be shut for. That's one word for it, yes. <laughs> That's fairly accurate. So there's a football match, and that football match is part of the World Cup. And one of the things about things like the World Cup is that they can be really good at bringing nations and people together. It doesn't always work, but generally this sort of thing brings people together. And when it happens, when we're here in the UK and we're watching that, fo that shut football game taking place in Qatar, it makes the world seem really, really small. But once upon a time, we realised just how big the world was. And now, if you were to be going to watch this football game in Qatar, you'd get on a plane and you'd be flown over there. Once upon a time, you couldn't do that. You had to find other ways of getting to point A or the way to point B and you needed certain things to help you. And you needed to check certain things. So, if you were going somewhere, you would need to know things like, can anyone tell me what that is? Any idea? If the weather forecast is actually Printed it off last night, but it's the weather forecast for Carshalton today, courtesy of the BBC. So you'd be quite good at knowing what the weather was going to be like. That would be really important. Now, if you were travelling somewhere 400 years ago and you wanted to get from England to... Spain, how do you think you might get there, Dominic? You, well, only if you were very unlucky. Any other ideas? Can I hear the word then? If you weren't swimming, how would you get there? Boat. Boat. So you'd have to go by sea, but almost, you're on the right track. But you need to know how to get there as well. So, you'd use that. 
and that's a really odd instrument called a sextant. And sailors still use it now and then. And they would also find out where they were going by looking at that. Can anyone tell me what that is? It's the stars, it's the night sky. So you would learn how to direct yourself by knowing what the stars in the sky look like. And again, that still happens. And the other thing that then became quite common is using one of these. A map. It's a map. Now, you can use a map. That's really important. It helps us find out where we need to be going. But actually, something else needs to be used with a map as well, quite often. So, no. Compass. A compass. And I nearly had to go rooting around to try and find a real compass. And then I realised actually I've got the digital version on my phone. So I didn't have to go rooting around to try and find the old one. But it's all about having things which help us find the right path. Having things which help us find the right way to get from where we are now to where we want to be. And you know something? In our reading that I just read, we heard about a compass. And that compass had a name. Can anyone guess what that name was of the compass? give you a clue. That compass used to eat locusts and wild honey and dress in an even more bizarre way than Father Daniel and I dress. I was going to say I eat locusts and honey. Well I wasn't going to tell you. That compass helping people point the way and find the right way was John. John was pointing people in a particular direction. Who was he pointing people to, Dominic? God, Jesus. And actually, that's what we need to do as well. In this season of Advent, we are moving towards celebrating the birth of Jesus at Christmas. And we are called to be compasses, we are called to be sextants, we are called to be maps, helping people find Jesus in their lives. John helped people in his time, other people have helped us, and we too are called to be compasses, pointing people to Jesus. But be thankful, you don't have to wear clothes made out of camel's hair, and unlike Father Daniel, you don't have to be wild over. Thank you for all those who remind us to be careful. 
kind and loving by their words and example. We pray that as a church we may get ready to welcome you and put right whatever blocks us from your birth. Lord, hear us. We pray that the lines of communication between people and nations may be kept open, respected and honoured. And that where communication has broken down, there may be a new desire for healing. Lord, hear us. May the God of peace make you completely holy, ready for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ.
so may your church be gathered into your kingdom. Amen. to discover and to cherish. And now we give you thanks, because your Son, our Lord, was awaited by the prophets, announced by an angel, conceived by a virgin, and proclaimed at last to men and women of every race.
So, Father, with this bread and this cup, we celebrate his love, his death, his risen life. As you feed us with these gifts, send your Holy Spirit and change us more and more to be like Jesus our Saviour. Help us, Father, to love one another as we look forward to that day when suffering is ended and all creation is gathered in your loving arms. And now with all your saints we give you glory, through Jesus Christ, in the strength of the Spirit, today and forever. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his Son. Lord, I am not worthy to receive, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
pray together on the last page. God of truth, we have seen with our eyes and touched with our hands the bread of life. Strengthen our faith that we may grow in love for you and for each other through Jesus Christ our risen Lord. Amen. As per usual, please do stay after Mass for refreshments at the back of church. Um, also, if you are here to sign up for a place, uh, for, for a church school place or to register your attendance, please do find the book as usual in the corner over there. Um, I hope everyone's noted that um, we are now entering through the door at the back rather than this door now. So each Sunday, please do enter through the door at the back if you've got a push chair um, and if you'd like to step through free access. This door will be open as usual. This weekend um, we are having our Advent Fair here in church. So yesterday we were open from 10 until 4. Um, we had hundreds of people come in. Um, it was extremely busy for most of the day. So we've done extremely well. We almost sold out of cakes. And we baked quite a lot of them. Um, we'll, be we'll be having our second instalment of the Advent Fair this afternoon from about 12 o'clock, 12 noon. Um, there'll be refreshments. Lots of activities, especially for children going on. Please do come and have a look at the arts work on display as well. So there'll be lots going on from 12 till 4 this afternoon. So please do come this afternoon if you can. There will be um, even song as usual tonight at 6.30 to round off this second Sunday of Advent. Next Saturday, the Carsholton Choral Society will be giving their Christmas carol concert. So that's at 7.30 p.m. Um, 10 pound tickets for adults, um, admission free for students and children. Um, so that's 7.30 next Saturday, <coughs> the 10th of December. Um, I'm told it's gonna to be quite spectacular. So if you want to see a brilliant carol concert, please do come next Saturday. But bear in mind that we'll also have our nine lessons on carols the Sunday after, and that will also be spectacular. So, but still, please do come next Saturday to the Carsholton Choral Society's Christmas Carol Concert. The services will be as normal this week, um, with a 9 a.m. all age mass at, 10, at 9 at ne next Sunday, and 10.30 mass um, next Sunday as well. I think those are all of the notices for today. Would you please stand? The Lord be with you. And also with you. May God himself, the God of peace, make you perfect and holy, and keep you safe and blameless in, the, in spirit, soul and body, for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this Advent and always. Amen.
Thank you.